the most haunted house in the world. This family is constantly harassed by Vlad the Impaler. Lee documents the spirits and portals. His audience gives him support even though it ain't real. And... Well... Lee's house, 1.31 a.m. Hey everybody, it's The Shape and... Lee from Really Haunted and... Followed by a copyright claim that I just got. Yeah, I, I can uh, I can predict the future. I can tell you right now, this video will be copyright claimed, just sure as I'm talking to you right now. But I hear you barking. We know Lee from Really Haunted. We know his stages. We know it. We know it. Yeah, we know it. But it's one thing to fake a video and claim it is real. A lot of them do that, but. My grievances with Really Haunted and Lee is he does that, but he also acts, well, yeah, he, he, he makes it like it's having a negative effect on his well-being. Now, very few paranormal investigators, the fake ones, do that. They'll fake the ghost, blah, blah, blah. Lee... You know, he acts like, it, it. oh, it's ruining me. It's ruining my life. It's And he's getting all these prayers in the comments. Every comment, every other comment is, oh, I'm praying for you, Lee. And they tell Lee, you need to try this. You need to try that. This is It's this kind of entity or it's that kind of entity. You need to do this, do that, blah, blah, blah. He acts like it's taking a negative toll on him and his family. And that's just a big fabrication and his wife is in on it there's too many times these paranormal events happen that it, and it takes more than just Lee to pull these off now a lot of his subscribers are I gotta figure out a way to say this nicely huh um they're well they're not wrapped too tight that's the nicest way I can say it. Or, now some may be just uninformed. And I, I'd be willing to bet that a lot of them that are subscribed to him, if they knew that he was faking it, which he is, they wouldn't be subbed to him. They wouldn't be supporting him. But yeah, he, let's get into this. Roll on. I think it's pretty obvious and it's uh, safe to say that if this was real he lives on the mo he lives in the most haunted spot on planet earth. I mean he has a portal on his wall. So and it it's been shadow figures. It's the whole couch that weighs probably 3 or 400 pounds gets threw across the floor by an invisible poltergeist. Now, I bring that to you because it, if it was real, science needs to see this because he has literal proof that there's after there's life after death. There's something after death. Something's going on, but he, he don't allow anybody in his house to investigate. Uh, and if all this stuff is really happening, he keeps his family in danger because if a ghost can pick a couch up, then it's it would easily be able to pick Lee up and or anybody in that house, pick them up and throw them down the steps. So it, it's mind blowing. As a matter of fact, let's look at this comment because it really stood out to me. Lee, other ghost hunters, investigators pale into insignificance compared to you, Lee. And this haunting, and the funny thing is, you deal with it so calmly. Other people are flapping about if they hear a tap or knock or see a tiny orb, and all this happens to you. Possession, which is terrifying, huge portals, black shadows, ominous black orbs, furniture of people banging on the windows, 
cooker ignition and probably loads of other stuff stacy getting dragged out of bed you should really write a book after this we just have to be grateful i suppose that vlad or whoever hasn't done yet what they are clearly able to do push you off a ladder stay safely and family raw diggy shut up and that is a good example of why real ghost hunters they don't stand a chance on youtube because you can't compete with couches flying portals shadow figures all that stuff stuff levitating and all that you can't compete with that not with real paranormal investigating and this guy oh well you, you do it better than all of them and you never leave your house you never even change clothes and you you catch all this great evidence <laughs> And them real paranormal investigators, they can't catch anything. And and plus, you're never scared. You can't be scared of something that's fake. Staged. By you. You know how you know for sure that Lee overlays all the sounds in this video? Just by that clip you just watched. Now, I'll show it to you again. But if you notice, when he's using a squeeze bottle, you know... I know you squeezed a ranch bottle or a ketchup bottle and that noise that it makes. Well, when he, you saw him squeeze it right there, no squeeze sound. Now, I know what you're thinking. Do we ever hear a squeeze sound? Oh, yeah, as soon as it switches to the other camera, you'll hear the squeeze bottle finally go off. Let's watch the clip one more time, and then I'm going to add the sound right after. Yeah, I added that little explosion in there just for fun. Sue me. But yeah, you're probably wondering, well, where did that squeeze sound come from? Okay, I'll, I'm going to show you this clip right now, right before, you know, a 300-pound couch gets through across the floor. Well, shoved across the floor. I'm going to show you the clip I got that sound because it wasn't in that one. I added it. But then you, when he cuts to the other camera, you finally hear the squeeze bottle go off. Right before the couch moves. Now take a look at this clip. It's too bad that as the couch gets pushed out, we can't see around that wall right there because we'd probably see this woman right here. From where he was, he can automatically see the couch. But to him, it's a minor annoyance at this point because... He says, I guess, because he's desensitized to all the craziness that happens all the time at his house when it's fake, it's staged. And you would know if it's staged from where the camera is, you would know exactly where the person helping him fake would be. Right? Blind spot, wall, push it straight out. Now, he's going to go grab the camera, and when he cuts from... The shot that caught the couch moving to his handheld camera, that's a cut that allows everybody to get from the little hidey hole and go anywhere they want. But he acts like they're both happening and he's never losing any time. It's all happening at the same time. It And a lot, lot of fake YouTubers, they use that. Ah, uh, the sofa's moved. Yeah, it has. And it has moved a lot. As Lee walks over here to get his camera, that's when the cut happens. When he cuts to this camera, them people that's around there have already moved. Obviously, it doesn't take a genius. Come on, people. The person was right there pushing the couch out. And that's the point. Why would Lee walk all the way over around to this exact corner right here? I'm making beans on toast. I don't think you need beans on toast. Whoo! Again, I'll say it every single time. That is 20 plus stone. That is heavier than me by a long shot. Comment below. Could you really 
If this was real, could you really get desensitized to something that's able to pick the whole side of a couch up and throw it? Seriously. Would you not be worried about your family members in your house when something has this kind of capabilities? Makes no sense. There's no person that would stay there. Not one person. That's terrifying. Something like that could, if it was real, could truly do damage to a human being. So, no, there's no I'm desensitized to it or anything like that. That's how you know it's staged 100%, just the mindset alone. So, <clears throat> last night was, like, freaked me out really bad. Trapped in the attic like that. Yeah, if I'd have wanted to, if I'd have needed to, I could have easily fell out of it or dropped out of it. But, you know, it's a decent height. Um, I'm ever, so I'd have probably ended up yeah, if I'd have jumped out to attic, I'd have ended up under stairs through floorboards. <laughs> oh, we'll get to that video. The the way the ladders moved, it was just like a smooth motion, and it you know it, it seemed an unnatural you know type of movement. The ladder had an unnatural movement, which further through the video, I'm going to show you. A how unnatural the ladder does move by itself. It's mind blowing. It's mind blowing and ridiculous. And and I'm this close. So as Lee lays here, he's watching TV and scrolling. What you're about to see is some of the most horrifying, spooky events that's ever happened. As Lee from Really Haunted is laying on his couch, looking through his. how to do Photoshop better, I don't know. You're about to see the curtains in the background move by themselves. And you're also gonna see why and why it's so hard to film with two cameras when they're supposedly going at the same time. Static cam, then the handheld cam. So watch what happens when he the curtains move, which he don't notice, supposedly, and then something falls. But watch this. Watch what he does. Crazy how he has that curtain back there dead center of the frame, and it moves on its own. We automatically know where the person hiding is right behind that wall. Lee gets up. He grabs the remote, turns the TV off because it would be hard to time the static cam and the handheld cam with the TV running. Season of the Witch. Okay, class. Debunkers, we're gonna. I'm gonna give you a little insight. When you got two cameras going, you got a static camera, and then you're getting ready to use the handheld camera. If anything's moving in the camera, I don't know, like a television, you got to sync those two up. You see what I'm saying? Because that's why he paused the video. When he turned the handheld camera on, it's paused. You see what I'm saying? Had he left it running, then the static cam is going to be showing the television. And the handheld camera's got to match that. That's why he paused it, because that's one big headache. Little ghost hunting one on one, one oh one, if you will. Hey, amazing how when he walks back through here, the static camera always has a blind spot. There's the curtain that moved. That means the person would have been right back here. There's the blind spot. Comes together, huh? So the person would have to be able to move the curtain and knock that chair over without being seen on the static cam and right behind that chair that you sit in right there would be the exact place you could do both of those things and conveniently enough it was off camera on the static cam show yourself to me you absolute coward oh lee you're so brave that's what he gets that in the comments too the people are like oh wow you're so brave lee smack talking the spirit you stood over here, 
Where that dark thing usually appears on the wall. Holy, you, you mean the big portal that forms on the wall there, right? That's what you're talking about, that thing. I guess he's like too embarrassed to say portal, although that's exactly what it's supposed to be. You gotta love it. I mean, <laughs> hit that like button. It's using the one thing that is like my true weakness. When my dad died, um, but I don't believe it's my dad. It's something evil. Did your dad hate couches? Did your dad have something, some kind of unknown hatred towards sofas? I know, it's a bad job. Shut up. And of course, this clip coming up is some of the most uh, amazing evidence I ever caught. A whole trash can gets slid with great force right toward Lee while he's uh, doing something at the sink. Now, this clip stood out to me for a multitude of reasons. For one, when he walks over to empty something into the garbage, he walks over there for a very specific reason. That reason is because later the trash can is going to come from that exact spot. And he walks over to say, hey, look, I'm walking over here. There's nothing here because I couldn't stand here if somebody was he hiding behind the little island counter here, down here, I couldn't walk over here and empty these scraps. That's why he's doing it. He ain't telling you that, but just watch. And that was a joke. I, I'm assuming his dad passed away. I have nothing against his dad. I, I don't know him. Rest in peace to dad. And for the third time, the paranormal happens and there's a blind spot. Can anybody point out the blind spot that we can't see before he grabs his handheld camera? Now, if we had x-ray vision, like Superman, this would be what we would see. And, <laughs> ugh. It drives me batty that people can't see what's going on here, though. Most can, but just some can't see it. Now, let's kind of dive a little deep into this. I, I might over explain it, but hey, you got some people who are new here, they gotta learn some way. I like to use these visualizations, if you will. I can't believe his audience believes this nonsense. He acts like, oh look, me and my family are struggling with this paranormal. But he does what he always does. He'll cut from the static camera, he'll grab the handheld camera, and that's the cut. Once this cut happens, that person hiding, they're already gone. Yet, his audience is like, wow, nothing's there. But when Lee walked over to empty the scraps in the garbage, this is exactly where she was. It's just been lobbed at me. Trash can got lobbed at me. Um, fine, I'm gonna get a candle out. I've not done that in ages. This is what I talk about, trying to waste its energy. I've got some holy water. I've not got a lot in here because I don't want to waste it. I literally have no idea what he just said. Comment below, I heard holy water. I heard that, but I, I have, I heard a lot of mumbling. But hey, he's he, he's going up in the uh, loft through that little hole, and he's going to have to use a ladder to get up there. And that this promises to be some of the most amazing documented poltergeist activity to ever hit the face of the planet. It's going to be, it's almost too much. But Lee, instead of, you know, going up there like uh, carrying holy water, why don't you get you one of them big 
gun rifles like uh, uh, Proven Demons. Andrew, why don't you get like one of those? What what do they call them? Uh, assault rifles. <laughs> assault rifle. Get it? Got salt in it. Assault. No. <laughs> I gotta go. Learning already. It's an horrible experience. If you hear dad, can you say dad? That said dad, 100% Lee. Watch out, David Copperfield, Penn and Taylor, take a hack. You're about to see something amazing. And Lee, I, that can't be your dad. And if it was your dad, I told you, he hates you. Because why else would he be slinging the couch all over your house? Uh, not making a joke out of it, I'm just... But I can see his comment section. Oh, something, it's a mimic. Something's mimicking your dad and trying to get close to you. <laughs> Let's watch the ladder move. Can you say Colin to prove it's you? Dad... If you're here, say the word Colin, so I know it's you. Dad. Son, it just said son. Still hearing a growling noise. What the? Lee, it was a good thing you was paying attention, you know, because you could have easily just tried to, you know, go down real quick to get on the ladder and it not be there and you fall. Glad you were paying attention, you know, it's almost as if you knew it moved. Because you caught it. And for the fourth time, the static camera has a blind spot. At least we'll get a different point of view here in a second. There's the ladder, obviously. He's getting ready to turn the camera to give us a better vantage point. But... I mean, you can see the blind spot a lot better, obviously, where the person was when that ladder was moved. They were right there, right in that little spot, right there, probably laying down, their feet back toward the bathroom. She's in caravan. So, Lee tries to call his old lady, and she's not answering because she's literally right below him in that room. But, you know, he's like, no, 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 I'm calling her because she's she's nowhere in this, hu this house. That's why I'm calling her, because you're, you're seeing me call her right now. You hear it ringing, so she can't be in this house. You know, she's not the one down there pushing the ladder in. No, none of that. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, I quit. I can. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Gravel in a gun. Nothing. I'll have to try to get down myself. Um, this could go very badly. Nope, I can't reach. This is content gold, okay? And you know I'm going to go animation crazy with this. <laughs> Look, do it. Come on, Shay. Give it. Give us a good one right now. I, I want something that's gonna get everybody laughing right now. Go ahead. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, there's a hidden picture in this video too, somewhere. By the way, I ain't gonna tell you where. But if you didn't laugh at that, you're definitely gonna laugh at this one. Is that you, Vlad? Is that you? What are you eating? That looks delicious. Went a little animation crazy. Are you aware? <laughs> he calls her. She answers the phone. And then he asks her very <clears throat> brilliantly. Are you awake? She answered the phone. Why are you asking her if she's awake? 
you absolute buffoon of a human being. First off, um, can you come in out there? I've got stuck in attic. You tell me. Yeah. How far would you? How far would you say that was? Oh, where? Yeah. Like the bike now to the position. Now I know for a fact that she's helping Lee, but judging by the look on this lady's face, she doesn't like it. She probably don't, don't even like the camera being on her. I mean, you could tell she genuinely looks aggravated because she has a husband that runs around in his underwear. And he's sitting there playing ghost all night, and it's probably affecting her. I would have left you up there, like, for real. If this was real, that is. But it's not. So, looks like it went to about here. In the next video, he said the ladder moved unnaturally, yet two marks are there. One where she pushed it back to help him, but the other mark is identical, so it's natural. House, the power of Christ compels you to leave. <clears throat> it's by the authority of Jesus Christ that I declare this house free from your influence. You got Lee here pacing back and forth asking questions and he's using that SLS, I think that's what it is, connect, whatever it is. And the camera gets moved by an invisible entity. Now, all the other static cameras had blind spots, but this one doesn't. This one doesn't have a blind spot, it's a continuous shot. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, he proved you wrong then because there's no... No cut in this one. No, there's not a cut, but unlike the other blind spots, the blind spot behind this camera, there is a place where you can escape to not be seen while he's standing there walking slow, acting like, you know, the camera just moved, but I'm just going to pace back and forth instead of going on, you know, going over there and showing you that nothing is behind the camera. But yeah. Blind spots on the other, all the other ones had blind spots on the static cam shot, but there was nowhere to run. That's why you had a cut. Now this one has no cut, but as you will soon see, as soon as he turns this camera around right here, turn it Lee, come on little buddy, there you go honey. He turns the camera right here and look at that door right there. Huh. That, it's as if somebody could have went out of that. The hidden word is price. Now guys, comment below what you think. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know what quite a few of the comments are going to be. But the reason I, I truly, the reason I called out, it's not like it's a big revelation that he stages. It's the fact you stage and then you pretend that it's uh, affecting you in other ways emotionally and you, you're getting people praying for you and everything else and you're you're not letting them in on the joke you know what i mean you're 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 riding it you're riding that wave you're loving the attention and oh everybody cares for me and what i'm going through even though i'm faking it all this is staged doesn't matter because i'm getting attention all eyes on me and that just, that gets to me on different levels. I mean, I, but comment below what you think. Hey, Debunkers Anonymous on Facebook, Debunkers Anonymous. Hey, you can go, you can go join that where we talk debunking 24 hours, seven days a week. This has been a banger. Just, just a fun video that, that I hated making, but I loved it also. Does that make sense? No? Now, that being said, as per usual, I got bangers on the way. I got a really, really good one coming too. You'll love it. I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. And I'll see you in the comments. Y'all come back now. You hear? Peace.